Hello everyone and welcome to Disco Bob Entertainment and more. I hope everybody is awesome out there and is safe. We're going to do a little classic bubblegum review. The classic bubblegum review showcase is Big League Chew Bubblegum. Uh, I remember getting this as a kid. Uh, pretty, pretty cool, um, really cool thing here. Hall of Fame bubblegum. Um, I, I definitely like this as a kid. I saw this and I thought I got to do a review on it. Um, a guy by the name of Rob Nelson came up with this, invented this. Um, they called him Nelly, was his nickname. They, uh, he did it for. The youth um, uh, baseball. So back in 1980 is when he came up with this big league chew. It was a replacement for the chewing tobacco, like you know, I don't know the yuckiness of the chewing tobacco when he uh, when they uh, invented it. You know, invented this for baseball for the youth, but. Um, I don't know the real whole story, but 1980, uh, Rob Nelson, uh, Nelly. But uh, let's check them out. See if it's like it was. Yep. Yep, like it was when I was a kid. They got the strands. You know, um, really good bubble gum. As you can see, so pretty good history. I'm the critic, Wiley Macy. You know what? This big league chew, it's okay. I used to play baseball when I was younger, but this was a little bit before my time. That's why I don't approve it. <laughs> I'm Disco Bob's manager, Robert A. And this stuff pretty good but I wish it was my idea to get it and invent it Urgh. Rob Nelson invented it instead Urgh. yeah but this is really cool I remember getting this as a kid yeah like I said um, I was about eight or nine years old when I used to get this I used to think man that's cool chewing tobacco like um, gum Really cool. Good idea, Rob. It was a good idea. Good alternative. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. That's a cool idea, CJ. Did, did you play baseball? Did you ever play baseball? You look like the baseball type. No. I never played baseball. I never did play baseball. Never did. Never did in my life. You know, I get hit with a ball. That would hurt. You know that? I know. I can't chew gum neither. <laughs> oh, Samba, someday. You know, it's really fun to have these history videos of this different stuff. Like, I do the history of candy and the history of chewing gum and bubble gum. But, uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool find. Um, like I said, you know, they had candy cigarettes back then, and then now and then they had... Uh, candied um chewing gum tobacco but uh pretty cool pretty awesome so uh yeah definitely gum well at least we know it's not banana flavored gum that's my gives my two thumbs up anyway but i gotta go i'll see you guys i have to Make like a, and split. Yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed this classic bubblegum review. Um, like I said, 1980 this come out. I was a 71. I was nine years old. <laughs> I got to do my math in my head. So, hey, everybody have a good one.
and thanks for watching Disco Bob Entertainment and more. Everybody have a good one. I appreciate all you guys' support. You guys are all awesome.